Hello and welcome everyone to anubavtrainings.com's SAP Analytics Cloud Tutorials. In this tutorial on SAP Analytics Cloud, we will discuss about its Smart Insight feature inside SAP Analytics Cloud. The Smart Insight feature is basically an inbuilt machine learning tool which discovers most of the top contributors of your selected data points. So whenever you have any chart on SAP Analytics Cloud, you can enable the Smart Insights and using that system will automatically discover the contribution of each of your dimension with respect to the measure which is projected in the chart. The generated chart can further be added back to the story and then further can have more drilled down to the Smart Insight. So let's go to the system and see how can we enable Smart Insight in SAP Analytics Cloud. So I'll go back and switch over to the system. And what I will do now is I'm going to add here a quick chart which is going to show the total amount of movies as well as shows which were uploaded over the last decades using Netflix in their systems. So I will just go ahead and add a chart to my story. And it's going to be a part chart with a measure as number of counts. And we will just do it based on the type of object which was uploaded. So you can see here we have about 4,265 movies and 1,969 TV shows which were uploaded on the Netflix. Now, what I would want to do is I would like to generate some insight about this and I want to see what is the overall weighted average of the shows and movies uploaded and also we wanted to know which of the measure is contributing highest and what how is that contribution changed over a period of time so we will just quickly go and click on the button and say add a smart insight and this built-in machine learning tool is now going to go and analyze our data by itself and proposes an a smart insight to the end user so you can see movie has a highest count showcasing 37 percent deviation from its average the total by far uh, from 18th of january which it found the data based on the time series is one as compared to the friday's january 17th of one a decrease of 86 percent which is six as compared to 16th of uh, jen so that that's a smart insight based on the time series data system is automatically generated now what you can do do is you can click on this view more button and now it will take you to the detail of uh, of the contribution for this particular measure so let's look at the details so you can see count in type movies and now you can see how the trend is changing for the movies on the netflix so you can go daily monthly quarterly or yearly trends when it comes to movies and now if you like a trend you can also go ahead and add that to your um, to your particular uh, story so let me just also add this on our page you can see the trend is added at the same time if I just scroll down I can also see the top contributors to the movies as well as to the TV shows so if you expand this you can see United States is the one of the top contributor for all the TV shows and movies and also we can see here uh, a stack chart showcasing the total count now you can also come down and see directors uh, documentaries uh, which type of movie is uh, contributing the most to the revenue so you can see here documentaries stand-up comedy all of this has been displayed let's also add this one to our page on the right side so I'll switch over once again and we will add the type of movie to our page documentary and we'll add it to our page yeah now what you can further do is you can also generate more insight for this particular chart which you added recently so we will go and activate again a smart insight for this one and you will again see uh, another smart insight for the second chart which was added from the smart insight of first one so now you see it shows you that 65 percent of deviation from the average the total so far in 2020 is one and total of 2019 is 83 which is a six percent increase 
um, as compared to 2018. So let's do more. So now here uh, it has generated the chart. Of course, you can go uh, to the chart properties and also change the chart properties as well further to change your analysis on the generated in Smart Inside. And now you can see a trend, especially with respect to now the the type or the listed types over here. So you can see now here a breakdown based on directors contribution to the documentaries and different types of movies. Now, let's say if I don't want to do an overall analysis, I want to just do analysis only on TV shows. I can come and click on this particular uh, uh, property and then we can also generate a smart insight only considering TV shows. So right click and you can just say show me in smart insight for TV shows and you can see it opens a panel on the right side only keeping the TV show dimension in mind and showcasing the top contributors. So now you can see a top contributor to TV shows in terms of cast, directors, countries, listed in and duration. So as we expand duration, you can see uh, season one was almost contributing to uh, these many number of uh, times. So most of the series uh, TV shows were released with season one. Then some of them went ahead with season two out of um, all of these 304 number of um, number of TV shows were taken it to the season two, season three and so on. So you can see also seasons contribution when it comes to TV shows. You can also see cast as well as director's contribution. So here you can see David uh, has the highest number of contribution creating the TV shows in terms of the cast. And then in terms of directors, um, Alastair will have the highest number of contribution and rest all are currently unknown in our data set as this is a flaw in the data set what we have. So this is the way we can just drill down quickly and have some insights and suppose if you want to hide the smart insights you can quickly go back select your chart go to the display options and just uncheck the footer which will then hide the smart insight from your chart. With that hope you enjoyed the session of understanding the basics of smart insights for detailed training on SAP Analytics Cloud, don't forget to subscribe our course on anubhavtrainings.com. If this video helped you, please give a thumbs up and like, share, subscribe our channel with your colleagues and friends. With that, Anubhav signing out. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.